Hey everyone, it's Riley. Thanks for coming back and watching another episode of My First Year on Tea. This week we're talking about sexual orientation and dating. I identify... That's a good question. How do I identify? I would say I say queer when I was identifying as non-binary and even when I was identifying as a woman I still said that I was queer or I would even use the term gay and up until recently I didn't even really question that but I never identified kind of like Emery said in their video with the term lesbian because I never felt female and I knew that even from the beginning even before I was identifying as non-binary. So I just used the word gay even though I didn't like men but I was kind of like quite behind the typical coming out. I came out a bit later in life. I came out as I think I said bisexual first and then I just changed to gay or queer and that wasn't until I was 22 and then I didn't come out as trans until I was 28. I'm primarily interested just in women. I've always said that I wouldn't, I can't say I would never date a guy again, but I haven't dated a guy for I think like, what, eight years or something? So probably not. I have always had a really, really hard time with dating. I am usually single and People I kind of used to have, like, people used to think that it was easy for me to get women. I went to the gay bars a lot, I did have a lot of dates, but keeping them around was always really hard for me. It still is really hard for me. I've had a couple longer term relationships, but the relationship I'm in right now is with my girlfriend and we've been dating for about 15 months and that's been one of the longest relationships I've ever been in. I feared that if I started testosterone it would make me even harder to date and that kept me away from it for a very long time and I remember talking to a trans guy friend I had and he said I mean if you want to start hormones you just got to do it for you you can't be living for anyone else why hold yourself back in fear when you should just be confident in who you are. And I know I should have known that before, but he was so right. I think being trans is definitely way, way harder to date. I don't know a lot of people who are open-minded to dating trans people, but at the same time, everyone I've ever dated that I opened up to about it said they would be fine. So I was identifying as non-binary a few years before I came out as a trans man. I'm sorry, this cat is just like all over the place. And yeah, every, everyone I dated said that they would be okay if I decided to start hormones. That was a little surprising because I think it's hard because, you know, who's going to date you? Is it going to be lesbians? Well, no, you're a man. Is it going to be straight women? Well, no, because they might be freaked out that, you know, you don't have a penis. And it kind of just puts you in this weird random section, but I found that usually bisexual or pansexual women are fine with it. I would say my biggest insecurity with dating is that almost all, I mean, I'm exaggerating a bit, but a lot of my past partners and relationships have left me for cisgender guys and that was when I was identifying as female or non-binary so that has been very difficult for me in the past. I actually had a partner at one time tell me that she thought I was trans and I was really shocked that she said that and I was like I am not trans and yeah it's kind of surprising that sometimes the partners that I have had in the past saw it before even I did. I think starting hormones does make things difficult, more difficult because it just changes your body in lots of ways and it's a really hard thing for you to be going through full of ups and downs and I can imagine that it's hard for a partner 
to also be going through that as well as supporting you. I'm very lucky that my partner is open-minded and fine with all of that. There have been moments that she's had a hard time just kind of running it all through her mind, but when we met, I was identifying as non-binary and within like the second or third date, I told her I was coming out as trans and within two months, I came out as a trans guy right after that. So she was just really used to it from the get-go, but if you're in a longer term relationship and then you're coming out as trans, I could see that being more difficult. I've heard a lot about trans guys, their sexuality changing over time and it kind of scares me, but I also need to just keep an open mind that it could happen. I feel like being just confident in who you are and just being open with who you are and not keeping secrets is probably a good thing because if someone just knows who you are from the beginning, then there's no surprises. But at the same time, I know it's difficult, especially if you just don't want to share that personal information. It's hard to put yourself out there. And if you want to just be stealth and just, you know, find dates like that, I mean, you don't ever have to tell anyone. It's your personal business and you can disclose when, if, whatever, whenever you want to. All right, I have ran a lot of time, way longer than I expected, so I'm gonna stop there. But thank you for watching and please subscribe. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers very soon. All right, I'll see y'all next week. Bye.